All right, well, a secret phone app is changing the New York City skyline, and you may want to, too. Spireworks lets users control the spires of two iconic Manhattan buildings, one Bryant Park, also known as the Bank of America Tower, and four Times Square. Joining me now is the creator of Spireworks, Mark Domino. So first of all, Mark, help me understand how this works. So, like, we're looking at the two spires there. If I have this app, which not everybody can have because it's kind of right. exclusive, I think you're going to tell me. I can then choose the colors that I want to light those spires. After dark, uh, after sunset, most evenings, uh, the Spireworks members uh, have kind of an open play on the spires. So not a lot of people know about this. Are you sort of keeping it exclusive and not spreading the word on purpose? Well, the, the project it was initially designed around inviting uh, friends and family into the mix, professional contacts, and then um, they in turn invited other people and it's grown. And uh, the idea was that they would uh, help animate the lights, all of these aggregate people touching the lights over the course of hours and days, and, and that would be the visual design. And that has been successful as the app has grown within the private group. At this point, we're thinking of other uh, models to get more people uh, the experience, mm -hmm. but use so it. So, did you have way. to pay to use this? No, right now it's still uh, in this. Mm, if you're a member, it's an open. Uh, open form. It's an open form in the evenings. Okay, but so you say if you're a member, so I have to receive an invitation first, correct? True. Yes. Will I? Yeah, I'll send you an invite <laughs> after this segment. So. Okay. And so, for what are people using this? I, I know there was an instance where somebody was announcing the the, the gender of their baby about to right. be born, and they lit up the spire blue. So, like, user culture is interesting because uh, from my perspective, the design was to get the animate the lights and provide sort of a uh, experience people wouldn't have normally thought they could have. Um, controlling the lights and get them in touch with the city and make places and all that good stuff. But uh, what happened is that on the other end, people used the uh, openness of the platform to do their own thing. So uh, engagements, birth announcements, a lot of as a magician who used it for a while. Um, there's, uh, you know, I think the recent coverage has been about people using it as a pickup tool and things like that to impress men and women. <laughs> Wait, give me an example of that. Uh, we just have heard back um, through a survey we did about uh, from some bartenders saying they see people trying to pick each other up with it, which is funny. But I don't think that will work as well. As, as the app gets more exposure, I don't think that's going to work. So. All right. Um, so what's next for Spireworks? So you don't have to pay to use it right now. Could there be a pay uh, program in the future? Yes, but we're thinking it will involve some amount of uh, charitable donation hmm. or social benefit through its use. So, um, I mean, it's a platform, so we could be doing a, a couple of different things with it. But I think if there's an end user uh, Payment being made, it will it will go to charity. All right, and the spires that uh, the spires that Spireworks controls are part of the buildings owned by real estate tycoon Douglas Durst, chairman of the Durst organization. So tell us about the partnership that you have there. Uh, well, the project was um, is bespoken for them to start with. So uh, in 2010, there was a lot of discussion as to uh, how to bring programming to the Midtown spires. Um, and I was involved in, in those discussions and developed an early version of Spireworks uh, at, that, at that time. So it's really been slowly uh, growing mm -hmm. because of this um, secretive qualities that, that it had. It. Obviously, the, you know, we're on television. We're not going to be secret <laughs> forever. Um, so it's great uh, to have worked with them. And, of course, we now uh, also... Uh, operate the One World Trade Center spire mm. and additional Durst properties will have All right. lighting. Well, I look forward to my invitation and seeing You're how welcome. it works. It's really a fascinating thing. Thanks for telling us your story. Thanks for having me. All right.